My name is Danny Calandrillo, and I'm from Leonardo, New Jersey. My name is Frankie Dobbs, and I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. My dad was a pretty good basketball player um, at Seton Hall, and he played overseas as well. We had a lot of big name stars at the time in the league, and, uh, and one of those big names was uh, Danny Calandrillo. My name is Dan Calandrillo. I was the Big East MVP in 1982. Parents always came up to me and was like, yeah, your dad was a great player. And I got it a lot, so I figured, you know, he knew what he was doing on the court. Danny was a very, very hard person to defend and cover because he was not only uh, one of the best, not only the best player on their team, but he was one of the best players in the league. Happy was a good, smart, you know, solid, you know, just a solid player. My dad, oh, he's a great player at Villanova, obviously. He played for uh, Coach Roly Massimino there for four years, made numerous uh, NCAA appearances and runs in the tournament, so I know a lot about him, how great of a player he actually was. In the back of my mind, that pushed me to be work harder and be the best player I could be as well. It's always been a joy for me to coach Frankie. I think Frankie's the kind of player that just, you know, it's tough to take a kid out. How do you take him out? I mean, guy can shoot, he can rebound, he can point guard, he's very, he's, he's got a lot of composure. He's a great listener. And uh, so Frankie's very, very easy to coach. Probably the main focus um, to come here to Bryant was the education and to major in finance and get a great degree. He came in the team as a walk-on freshman year. We uh, did not know a lot about him. He, what he would do is he would show up every day, work hard in practice, and through the years he's just got better and better. He's always in the gym by himself, whether it's late at night or early in the morning, get extra shots up, things like that. So he's just been improving ever since, and now he's a vital part to our team. I said to him, now you got to this level, you got to go to another level. Now. He always told me, you're a Division I basketball player. You can do it. You can do anything you set your mind to. Just keep on getting better. Keep on working harder. Because once you stop, you really don't grow. You don't define yourself. Every summer, I've worked my butt off. Here, I'm always in the gym, just trying to get better every day. And it's paid off. It really has. He's the intense coach. He's the guy that will get up in your face, scream. He's the guy who tries to bring the most out of their players, no matter what it takes. And I think every player can appreciate that. When Frankie's maybe not doing what he should be doing or made a mistake, and you know, you can see happy, you know. You know, kind of, he doesn't want to yell at him, but he wants to say something to him. Uh, it just, you can tell there's that relationship there. And I do, when I see that, I do, you know, it reminds me of me and my dad. We've kept it pretty business all the way through. I, I don't get any special treatment, anything like that. If anything, he's harder on me, I would say, on certain things. But like I said, all the other players respect that. I respect that. It's no hard feelings at the end of the day. And just know that everything we do as a team is meant for the best as a team. Our fathers really taught us how to become great players, but also great men. 